Okay, so this is going to be my example of taking a semi-thick paint. Again, I'm mixing the Terra Verte hue, the green hue, with the um, ultramarine. And i um, tapping it in areas where I want to blend. And this is an example of using wet and thick paint together, like a, like a teamwork. So I'm putting this semi-wet, but it's a little thick paint in the areas that... I want to create this shadow and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these colors there and all I'm going to do is go ne right next to them with the same brush but I'm going to dip the brush in some water and just blend it all in and you'll see right about now. So this example is less about um, color and more about value because the color of his shirt in the uh, picture is very red. It, it printed very, very red, but I'm just using this grayish value because the entire color in the picture is the same value. So I'm just using that semi thick paint and just adding water to it and it's blending into, blending into the other paint. And it's um, a good way to use wet and thick paint together. Now, I have two more examples to show you. Now here I want to take some the same paint with a little bit of titanium white and I want to go really thick. So now I'm not using the water, I'm just using a thick paint and I'm going to blend into the wet paint. Instead of going wet into nothing, into the paint that's already dry, I'm going thick paint into the paint that's already dry. So again, I was blending wet paint with water into paint that was already dry. Now I'm going thick paint into paint that's already dry. And you'll see I'll hit, a, I'll hit a bunch of highlights and just blend them into the shirt. I'll let you watch that before I get to the next area I wanna show you. Okay, so I'm going to take some wet paint and block some line work in. I want to define this ear. And the reason why I'm not using thick paint, which is why this is a wet and thick lesson, is because you want to start your paintings off general to specific. You want to do the entire painting general to specific. So if I block this in with some really dark paint, even though it looks dark, it's just wet, it's just watery. If I block this in with some really thick paint, I'm not gonna have the 
color hitting like I want it to. I'm not going to have the paint blending like I want it to. And you can't finish a painting from the top. You finish a painting gradually from the bottom in layers. So blocking these line, this line work in with this wet paint is going to make a world of difference right now. But it's going to also be a guide for the rest of the painting when we get into blending and stuff like that. 